Do you guys see him bringing him back for the playoffs? Aaron, we'll start off with you. Uh, no. You know what? Let me just throw out a couple names for you. Mark Savard, Eric Lindros. We're talking about guys that have had concussions, came back too early, and look at them now. Lindros had to retire early. Mark Savard, nobody knows. He's having problems with his memory right now. He can't remember things. Uh, would you want to see this happen to the best player in the NHL? Him come back too early, get hurt. It, it doesn't take, won't take that much, especially with uh, he's a little more susceptible to take a, uh, an injury with a, even a minor hit to the head. It's very questionable, very easy for him to take a concussion now after having one. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to disagree with you to an extent, Aaron. What I'm going to say is I do think you bring him back, but you don't bring him back too early is the phrase I want to go with because it's up to the doctors to decide if it's too early. If they say he's cleared, you put him on the ice. You're paying him a lot of money to play hockey. If he's cleared by the doctors and they say, you know what, he can play without getting a concussion, which obviously no one can definitely say any player can get a concussion with a past history or not of the injury, you put him on the ice. Now, the one thing is the X factor here is what Sid's going to feel as well. I don't think that it's in the doctor's hands necessarily, Kevin. I think it's more in Sid's hands. He, well, he's going to know uh, he wants to be up back on the ice. You know, the passion that this kid has. Uh, he wants to be playing right now, and it's bugging him just to be sitting up in the press box for this long. Uh, he wants to be out there with his mates. But he's got to know himself not to push himself. Look at, as the guys I said, you don't want to go out there, get hurt again, and you'll be out for the season. This kid, he's 23. He's got... If you're lucky, maybe another 20 years. Look at Mark Recchi. He's playing until he's 43. You might have another 20 years with this guy. Don't rush it. You have your whole future to play for, and there's no reason to rush it back for a season that's already in question when you don't have your uh, other second-best player in Evgeny Malkin. This season, I would just, you can just say See, it's lost. I, I disagree, and I, and I think you're giving him too much credit because he's a professional hockey player. You're, you're right. He wants to be on the ice. I don't know that it's up to him to decide when the best time for him to be on the ice is because I think his decision might be swayed by the fact that he wants to play and he wants to win. You're looking at a team that without him since the beginning of January has kept pace and closed ground on Philadelphia. They're sitting back. If they win Tuesday night, all of a sudden both teams are sitting at 100 points atop the division. So I think I think it is in the doctor's hands. And, and you know, you're talking about 20 years with him. You need to look at the present right now as long as the doctor says clear. I need to, you know, counter argue, <clears throat> argument both of you guys. Shouldn't he be pushing himself? He gets paid a lot of money, like you said, to play hockey. You need to push yourself to get over a concussion. And with you, how can a doctor tell you what your head is thinking in the inside of him? That has to be Sid's decision to really know if he can go out there and play. A doctor is not going to be able to tell you that. The baseline test, yes, that's supposed to be helping you, but... Come on, you got to push yourself. It, when you do push yourself, but you, then you have to realize the symptoms, and that's what I'm talking about. If he's going to push himself, you already saw him then. The first time he gets back on, on March 20th, he's out there, just a light skate, shoot a couple pucks, that's it. He's stepping up uh, progressively, but still, if he's seeing spots, uh, having a hard time driving, loud noises, anything like that, he's got to let the doctors know to counteract so he does not go out there and hurt himself in the future. But then you have to look at you have to look at the overall scheme of things. I mean, you can look at NFL players that have had 10 concussions in their career, one per season. So if he says next season, you know what, I'm good to play now, I feel fine, and he gets a concussion, did he come back too soon? There's no, there's no timetable argument here that one time is more soon than the other. There is definitely no timetable for discussion. Do you see the Pens, what do you see them with Sid, without Sid in the playoffs? Well, I still think Quickly. This, well, the 4-5 matchup there, if they're going to end up playing Tampa Bay, I'd like that matchup with the Pens either way. They just need to get more offense. When they end up playing a tougher team, uh, say Boston or even Philly again in the playoffs, I think their scoring depth takes them out. I can see them one round and done. More quickly. Uh, <laughs> quicker than that, with Sid, I think they're the favorite in the East without Sid, one and done. They are only two points behind Philadelphia. I think they're